In this short overview tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics to get you going with Twixter in Avid Media Composer. You should have an understanding of how to use Media Composer before trying to use Twixter within this software. I will not be covering any how-tos that don't relate directly to Twixter. Also, this tutorial presumes that you're working with the same interlacing settings and frames per second from the input to the Twixter to output. We will discuss different frame rates and interlacing settings in other tutorials. I'm going to do some simple speed changes and we'll start with a slowdown. We will use this clip of the car which is 720p and 29.9 frames per second. We've already added our clip to the timeline and now we can add Twixter by going to the Project Window and Effects tab. We select Revision Plugins and Twixter and drag the icon to our clip. Now we can select the icon for the effect settings to make some adjustments. Since Twixter does a great job with the default settings for a slowdown, we only need to look at a few things. We have the display. The source shows how the footage We'll look before retiming with Twixter, and the Twixtered output shows the time remapped version. We're going to leave it on Twixtered output. We will leave the rest of the controls for other tutorials except for the time remap mode, which we will talk about now. In this lesson, where the new duration has to become longer than the original, and since plugins are not allowed to alter the duration of the source material, there is a workaround. What we do is step in to take our original sequence and copy and paste it a few times to extend the sequence. You just need to make sure that the new duration is at least as long as your final output is going to be. I'm actually going to add one more copy to show you how to deal with the clip if it's longer than it needs to be. Now we can step out and go back to our effect controls. We can choose the type of remapping we want, speed or frame number, and in this lesson we will use speed. All we have to do is set the speed percentage. A value of 50% would tell Twixter to play the clip half as fast as the original. We're going to make it two times slower or half the speed, so I can select the center of the slider and just start typing the number we want. So in the dialog box, I will type 50. And don't forget to hit return. That is a little gotcha. Just a few more side notes. First, with Twixter, if you trim the clip or change the duration of the transition to or from a clip with Twixter on it, which affects how many frames are needed for the transition, the timing of the Twixter clip will shift in a non-intuitive way. Of course, you'll want to be able to trim a Twixter clip and edit with, with transitions. So what do you do? Well, in order to allow trimming and other regular editing functions, Twixter requires that you first retime your clip in its own sequence by itself and not as part of an entire edit. If you don't do this, you will notice that things may shift in time and not give you the results you would expect. So you will need to integrate a rendered version of your Twixter clip back into your full edit after retiming. Also, Twixter doesn't retime the audio on your clip. That will have to be done separate. Now, you probably will want to see the result. Okay, like other non-real-time effects, you won't see Twixter applied on playback until you render the effect. We're going to render this so we can see the result, but first, you may notice that after the last frame, frame 149 in this case, the clip starts to loop. That's because when we copy and pasted, the sequence to extend the clip, we made it too long. We don't want to trim the clip since the retimed effect isn't rendered yet. We can simply go to the last good frame of the cut and mark that as the out point. Media Composer will actually set the out point one frame later. Now we can go to the first frame of the clip and mark that as our end point. We can go to Special and Video Mixdown. You can also just use the in and out points to render any desired portion of the retime clip you want in your edit so that you don't have to wait for the whole clip to be processed. Here's our result and you can see that our clip is playing half as fast. In this next example we want to tell Twixter to change the speed of the shot for a speed up effect. Twixter does this by purging and or creating new frames based on motion and speed up factor. As a result, the footage 
is shorter. For example, a two second clip when made two times faster or 200% becomes a one second clip. Like the previous example, we place the clip into its own sequence and apply Twixter. Only this time we don't need to step in and add more footage in the nesting for the effect because we're not making the clip longer. If I choose to make it three times faster, that would be 300%. So if I put 300 in the speed dialog box, we can see the result. If I want to play the result, though, I will have to render the selection since I explained that Twixter is not real-time in Media Composer. I select my clip and go to Special and Video Mixdown. The source clip that was 150 frames or 5 seconds long is now 50 frames or 1 minute 20 seconds long. Okay, back to our speed up. Hmm, are you wondering why it repeats the last frame after 120? That's because Twixter repeats the last frame of the clip when it runs out of frames of the original material. We can go back and mark the in and out points like I showed you on the slowdown and re-render. Now we're good to go. Alright, now this clip is three times faster. This is how you can do a simple slowdown and speed up with Twixter in Avid Media Composer.